this is a strategy on how to make money with map art. I'll be going over the entire process and showing you how you can do it all for free. Stay tuned. So if we just search Chicago map art on Etsy, you can see there's plenty of these map prints available for sale. And some of these shops even have 6,000 reviews or 2.4 thousand reviews, 17,000 reviews. If we go to their store in 20 plus carts, custom map print any location. So looking at their listing, they offer the all these different styles and shapes of your custom map art as well as different types of print digital files physical prints and sizes personalization all things you would need to know how to do if you were going to put this into your own listing the thing is about these map prints is they are very saturated as a niche but there's so many different things you can do so many different styles so much creativity that can be added to them. Like look how good some of these look and how unique they look with their own style and everything. There's an abstract look to them and you know that they do sell. There is a demand for these products. Using a free extension called Everbee, I'm on the free version. I can go here and click analyze listing and it'll give me all this data on the product. It's been up for 25 months. It sold 3,800 products with a total revenue of $1,679 a month, which as a digital product, most of that is profit. You could also put these prints on other products like pillows or blankets or any other print on demand product that you could sell with something like Printify. And these prints don't have to be sold just on Etsy. You could sell them on Amazon, places like Redbubble, or you could even have your own website through Shopify and sell them as digital or physical products. If you want to see another success story, watch Humphrey Yang's How I Started a $1.7 Million Poster Business at 29, where he breaks down exactly how he did the same thing with map art. So the first way we'll be making our map art will be a website called Snazzy Maps. Here you'll register and once you register you can hit explore styles to check out user submitted styles or color schemes for their own maps. And you can base yours off of here or you can make your own and create your own map or create your own template that you could use across multiple cities. You can click some of these preset color schemes to see how you want to start your map, change some of the colors of the water or, or the land. And then that will open you up to this bigger menu where you can change all of the different aspects of the map. The main thing here is we're going to want to go in to all the different sections, find the labels, and turn the labels off. Turning the labels off will give the map a cleaner feel without, you know, city names, road names, or neighborhood names. This part should take a little bit when you're doing a new template because you'd need to make sure that everything's clean before you change the colors, before you start rendering your images. And now to change your land color, you're going to go to the landscape option, hit all, and then now you have this color wheel where you can go in and pick any of the colors for your land. You can do this for the roads as well as the water. And this is where you have a full customizability for how your map and how your art looks. Later on, we can take it into Photoshop and change it up even more or add our own labels onto it if we'd like. For me, I'm doing my map based off Detroit because I'm based in Southeast Michigan. If you want to check it out, I have a Southeast Michigan based clothing brand where if you want to support, I have some merch or also I have some more simple $5 stickers. Once we have our template the way we want it to be, we can press save and save it as our own template. Now it can be replicated onto other images in the future. When we go to download, we want to change our dimensions and make sure we can get the highest quality image possible. So what that means is putting the dimensions all the way to a thousand by a thousand on the slider and then changing the scale to 3x. We can further upscale it more if we want to. 
that would be using a website called Vectorizer AI. This will give you a PNG image that you can then bring into Photoshop or render onto your products. One of the problems I have with this generator is just that it can't go high enough resolution wise. And that's why I like to use our other option, which is called Mapbox. Mapbox seems a little more complicated to me than Snazzy Maps, but once you register for Mapbox, you can go in and press create a template. You have all these different templates to choose from to start, and then you are opened up with this complicated menu and interface. With Mapbox also, we're gonna wanna go in and turn off all the labels so that we have a clean map. To turn off our labels in Mapbox, we're gonna click on each one of these sections on the left and then hit hide. This will hide the majority of the labels. So once you get everything the way you want in Mapbox, you can go up to share and save it as your own template. And then you can go up to print. Once you press print, you're gonna wanna make it a square image. It shows the dimensions, the pixel dimensions in the bottom left and it can go all the way up to 8,000 by 8,000. Once you press print, you get a preview and then you can save it as a image. It'll render out as a full PNG and you get 100 free exports through Mapbox, whereas Snazzy Maps, you get 10 exports per day. So you can flip flop between and keep them going until you got all sorts of cities. So to upscale our image from Snazzy Maps, we're going to go to Vectorizer AI. This is where it's a free AI software where we can turn any of our images into vectorized images. I'm going to upload my image. You know, you can see it's like kind of blurry. Let it do its process. And then here's the vectorized version over here. So this is what it looks like when you zoom all the way in in comparison to the image we got from Snazzy Maps. And then we can just go to download, press download. So now that we're in Photoshop, we can mess around with our different images. This is the one from Mapbox, and this is the Snazzy Maps image, both of Detroit. And so the thing is, is on Etsy, there's a lot of competition between these map art products. So you need to make yours unique enough to make someone want to buy your version of it right so we're gonna press c and this will open our crop tool over here we can change the ratio i'm gonna do four by five because that's a common poster aspect ratio press enter so now we can move it around so once we have it like that i'm gonna press Control t make it a little bigger fit it to kind of how i how i want it to be I think I want it somewhere like that. And then now we can add our text to our poster. I'll write Detroit in all caps. And now I'm going to control J to duplicate it. Hide the other one. Right click. Convert to shape. Go up here to stroke. Click white. Align. Outer edge. Change the stroke so it doesn't blend in with the water. That might be about good. Now you have a full poster or digital file design with the map art that you could now sell. So now the thing is, is you wanna make these unique to yourself. So for example, we could control J duplicate this. We could go up to this ellipse tool and hold shift and left click and hold down. And so we could put center a circle, go over to the layer, press control or hold control and then left click on this outer edge it'll select this circle and now we can go over here and press the mask tool and so theoretically we could put our poster within this little circle add a black background add text wherever we want i'm going to control j and put this in a different spot so you could theoretically make all sorts of art with every different city that you feel right so we can go back i'm gonna go back to here another example to make things your own and unique i'm gonna start a new layer let's get some sort of cool brush over maybe like a splatter brush
I'm gonna click rasterize layer style and go to darken. So now the water, the river is bleeding through. So now we have our own look there. You know, if you zoom out, this in itself could be its own little unique poster design someone might want. Or you could even put that clipping mask it into the circle and do something like that. There's infinite directions you can go with this to make it your own and someone's gonna want their art to be different than the usual. So it's all about messing around, finding what could look good and repeating the process until you have something you want and until you cover all sorts of cities or even selling your own custom ones like that Etsy listing we talked about before. If I did this as an example, I would probably put the text here and I would move this up here and then boom, we have our own. This could be in a glass framed poster. There's all sorts of different directions you could go with it, but yeah. So now that we've got our design, we can go into something like Printify where we could search poster and we could sell our designs on physical products using print on demand, where every time we make an order off something like Etsy or our website, they will make it and ship it to the customer and then you keep the difference. So I'm uploading my image into Printify and it'll render it onto this poster. So see my aspect ratio is different than the size of this 24 by 36. So you could either change it to like a 16 by 20 and then you can also click make a specific design for 24 by 36 right here and then you can extend it up and even though it'll clip a little bit even though it'll clip a little bit you still have it so you're able to fit it onto a bigger or different aspect ratio design if i go to preview it'll give me all these mock-ups of what the poster would look like which you can upload these directly to your website or directly to Etsy. For me with this one, I found a free image of the bean in Chicago and I used Photoshop to add it into the background and then made the text look like it was behind in the water. So that's how I made this poster. So it just goes to show you all the creativity and things you can change to make them your own. Not to mention, imagine doing this for every city in the world in all different color schemes and color ways and how having those products posted for years could generate a lot of revenue theoretically long term. So I'm in Etsy right now starting a new listing and I just wanted to show you that if you didn't want to sell on physical products, you could very easily sell your images as digital printouts that people can print at home or take and have made into a poster if they wanted to for cheaper. So you have to go through less of a hassle of having the product made and shipped through Printify, which isn't even that complicated. But in this way, you would just send them the file automatically as soon as they buy it. You go to core details, add core details, and just hit digital file, and then press apply. I did, finished product. When did you make it? Made to order switch to digital listing and then boom you're in a digital product and then right under shipping this will change and say buyers will download your upload files once you complete the order digital products are probably one of the best ways to do this because it's almost all profit but you could also do the physical aspect especially if you're selling on like amazon or something and if you were to scale it you know you could have a your own poster making machine on amazon where you're selling all sorts of different abstract versions of these maps for all sorts of cities for cheap on Amazon because you have a machine making it yourself. So yeah, I'm just trying to give some ideas. If this inspired you in any way, please let me know. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. Peace.